April, thank you. Breaking news, New Orleans Fire Chief Tim McConnell confirmed that there are at least three people dead after a two alarm house fire in the 7700 block of Wave Drive in New Orleans East. And that's where we find Katie Steiner. Um, officials just wrapped up a press conference. Katie, what do you know so far? Yeah, Leslie, we know that this fire started about 1.30 this morning, and when firefighters got here, one of the things that they struggled with was the burglar bars on the doors and the windows. You can see here that window crashing. You can see those burglar bars there on the roads. So that was a real issue when firefighters got here this morning. We know that there were four people inside of the home. They were trying to get those people out, and the firefighters did find a way in there, and they were able to get two people out. Now, one of those people died, and EMS took one person to the hospital. So there are four victims in total. Three of them died and one is still recovering at the hospital. So here's a little bit more about the people that we know are victims here. So two of them were an elderly couple, a grandma and a grandpa. One was a young child and one was an adult man, an uncle here. There are a lot of families that live around here. There's a lot of family members that live around here. And really, this was just a huge tragedy for the entire neighborhood. This appears to apparently be a very uh, close-knit uh, community here. A lot of family members live right here in this neighborhood. Uh, everyone knew this family, so it's a very, very tragic and very tough uh, for the community, and it's tough on the firefighters whenever they, they make these kind of incidents. Now, Superintendent McConnell wouldn't tell us which family members died and which one is still recovering at the hospital. He said they still want to talk to family members and they wanted to let them know about what happened here this morning. Another thing that he mentioned, he really stressed the importance of having working smoke alarms. A lot of times here when you have fires at night, it's really hard to get up if you don't have a working smoke alarm. He didn't know if this house had working smoke alarms or not. That's all going to come out in the next couple of hours once they start that investigation. Right now, they're just cleaning up the process and then they're going to start that investigation coming up in the next couple of hours as well. So we'll know a little bit more, but as always, it's going to be a while before they figure out exactly what caused this fire and if they did have working smoke alarms. Leslie. Gosh, Katie, and I'm seeing the house behind you. I don't see any smoke or flames. Is that fire completely put out? Yes, completely put out. It's been out for a couple of hours. That fire started at 1.30 this morning. So right now, fire crews are just cleaning up, and then they're going to start investigating, figuring out exactly what happened here. And did the fire chief say that he'd had a, have an update later this morning? Did he mention anything? Yep. Yeah, he said he's going to have an update when he has a little bit more information. As of right now, they're just trying to, you know, let other family members know. It sounded like this was a big family, so they don't want anyone to have any surprises when they turn on the morning news this morning. So they're going to really inform the family members, see what happened. But we do know that one of the people is in the New Orleans East Hospital, Leslie. So tragic, Katie. Thank you very much. And we will, of course, have live updates throughout the show. Mm -hmm.